Some people in Juneau had a close encounter with an avalanche this morning. Forecasters say heavy snowfall followed by warmer temperatures has created dangerous conditions in parts of downtown. KTV 11's Liz Range joins us live from the scene on Judy Lane Road. And Liz, avalanches aren't uncommon in that area, but this one came a little too close for comfort. It definitely did, Bonnie. We're here at the foot of the avalanche, and this used to be a road here behind me, but as you can see, it's now just a wall of snow. And I want to show you just how close of a call it was this morning. We're just a few feet away from the nearest home here. We spoke with the man who lives inside, and he tells us that he's now thankful just to be alive. The city of Juneau has been lucky for a long time. Built at the base of a mountain on top of a clearing made by mudslides, it's yet to have a deadly avalanche. You see how it ripped out the concrete? But a snowslide Friday morning came close for Monty Tuhas and his roommates. Monty was working from home when he heard a rumble just after 6.30. And it was the crackling and the crunching of it ripping and tearing and slamming trees to the ground. And I just jumped up immediately. He ran outside to find the 30-foot wall of snow had stopped just feet from his door. Thank God, because if it was, if it really would have hit, we probably wouldn't have had time. It probably just would have swept the house away, you know. So, yeah, I'm shaking just talking about it. I thought it sounded like thunder, but then that is strange because we never get thunder here in Juneau. And at the bottom of the mountain, Carol Treem caught the whole thing on camera. A white wall of snow plowing down the mountain. Within a few hours, her clip went viral. It's, it's crazy. My phone keeps blowing up with notifications and phone calls. 62 houses, a hotel and small boat harbor all sit in the prime avalanche area. We have the potential for the greatest catastrophe of uh, urban avalanche in, in the world, really. Well, it looks like you guys got pretty lucky today. Yes, we did. Very lucky. Blessed, and I'm just thankful to be alive. For Monty's house, it was only a matter of feet that made all the difference between a roadside attraction and what could have easily become a total catastrophe.